Hi everyone, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square and today I'm going to show you how to make the block called Spinning Star. Um, we have it in one of our patterns and it's number 616. It's a, it's a placemat pattern um, and it's called Spinning Star and this is kind of a piece, a picture of what one of the, the, uh, the placemats look like. And this is just a little diagram of what the pattern looks like. And we've had some people say they had a little difficulty putting the square together. They're a little bit confused by the construction. So I thought I would just do a quick little video and show you how to make the block, um, finishing the rest of the placemat or any other thing you're going to use a spinning star in would be easy once you know how to actually put the star together. So we're just gonna have a quick little video on how to put the one block together. And I'll go cut out the pieces and I'll be right back and we'll get started. Okay, to make the spinning star um, square, you're gonna need two sizes of a square that get cut into triangles. So you have two squares that are the same size, which is this dark, dark green and this really pale green. And they both get cut into four triangles. You've got four triangles of a dark, you got four triangles of this light one, which are triangles, but I just cut it apart already. And of the light color, you also need four little rectangles. And that's the same as these rectangles here and these triangles. And these darker ones would be the same as where the pink ones are on this picture. And then you're going to need two squares that were cut in half only, like so, to be cut in half. And that's these bigger, bigger ones that are red on this picture. So you start by sewing the four tr smaller triangles of each color together and make sure that you have the dark triangle on this side and the light triangle on this side and you sew them all together in pairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, once you've got that done, you're going to take your larger triangles and you're going to sew them to each one like this. Very easy. Now make sure that when you sewed these pairs together that your dark one was on this side and your light color that also has the triangle, the rectangles is on the left when they're put together like this. So now you're just gonna sew each of these. And when you sew diagonal seams like this, don't stretch your fabric because you don't want to distort the square. So if you've got a walking foot, use it, but otherwise just lead the fabric through nicely and don't do any pulling because it's on a bias. It would be easy to kind of pull it. See how you could stretch it like that and you don't wanna do that. So just ease them through and go ahead and sew all those pieces. Okay, now you've got four squares like this, and all you do next is you sew your four triangles to the squares this way. So each rectangle, you've got your big triangle here, and your rectangle is going to go next to it here so that this color and this color are in this position, same color, and this is here. Make sure you don't put them this way. Don't put them on this side, but put them on this side. So sew the squares, to the rectangles to those four pieces. Okay, you've got four pieces like this. Now you're gonna take one of them, turn it around so the rectangle is at the bottom. Make sure I can, can see this. The rectangle is at the bottom and you're going to take your one little center square and you only cut one of these um, which I forgot to mention at the beginning but you do need the one little square and you're going to put it up in this upper corner make sure the top edge and the side edge are even and you're going to sew it down right here this side seam right here right here but you're going to stop about a quarter of an inch before the end so leave the a quarter of an inch free. If you have to measure and mark that, go ahead and do that, but you don't want the last quarter inch attached. So I'm just gonna sew that right here, this sewn here, and then I'm going to open this like so. Just kind of give it a nice little press open. Now when I turn it, when I take this piece and I turn it, um, whatever way that is, and then I'm going to take a second piece with the, with the rectangle at the bottom and I'm going to sew it right here. So I'm gonna take just take this piece here, 
and I'm going to sew it right here, like so. So I'll sew that. Okay, now we have this done. We've got our center piece, we've got this first section sewn on, we've got the second section sewn on. Now what you're gonna do is rotate it again and sew a third section on, and always with, when you line them up, that rectangle is at the bottom. Now, this is a pretty easy square and the part to make, but the part that people get a little hung up on is if they don't leave this little piece free, okay? You need that quarter inch free because you're gonna connect that as you after you put the fourth piece on. So all you do now is you sew this piece here. I'll go do that right here. Make sure you use quarter inch seams on your whole machine, on your whole sewing, and also it is important that you follow the pattern you're following, you're reading, um, with the pressing in the right direction, your pieces. Okay, now next, this gets sewn. This is your last piece. You're gonna sew this piece right to here. Now the trick here is you have to leave the final quarter inch of this seam, let me get a little bit closer here so you can see what I'm talking about. The top edge, when you're sewing this edge to this edge, you leave the top edge of this quarter inch free. So I'm just gonna lay this piece down here and show you what I'm doing. This piece goes right here. So when it's full unfolded, it'll be in the right spot, okay. So I'm going to sew this seam, but I'm gonna stop a quarter of an inch before the end of it, which will match up with that quarter of an inch that we didn't sew at the beginning right here. So I'm gonna unfold that, and if you watch this, you can see that those two will line up fine. So I'm gonna stop it here and just sew this side seam right here. All right, so I've sewn that seam, and I've left the quarter of an inch of that, that one uh, unsewn and the quarter inch from that previous one. So when I put those two together, I can turn this like so. And then I can match up. This row will automatically match up and grab both of those pieces right there. Let me show you that again. Okay. I just sewed this piece down and this little edge is not sewn and this little edge here is not sewn. So when I take this, and obviously this edge has to be sewn to this edge. So when I take this and I turn it like that and flatten it, I'm gonna turn it over so you can see this. I can line up those two edges right like so, and that will catch both of those edges that were not sewn. I'm gonna catch the ends of those seams right here. Right here is what I'm sewing. So I just sewed this seam from here down to here where they came together right here. Now when I open this out, except for this thread here, it's all how it should be. I'll iron that and I'll give you a quick look at it. And there we have it. That's the finished block. So you have to just simply remember um, to leave that initial quarter inch seam and then when you sew the last side seam here make sure you leave that quarter inch of that free so that when you fold them over and sew them together those two quarter inches will tuck into each other and then when you sew the last seam they'll just get caught everything will get caught fine and if it sounds a little complicated um, as you go it'll make more sense as you make the square it'll make more sense and you obviously be following a pattern so your step-by-step -step instruction should be nice and clear and easy if you like this design and you'd like to see it as a you know placemat we've got this placemat pattern for it and it's on our website on tulipsquare.com and it's pattern number 616 spinning star so if you like this video and you want to see more videos that show you specific squares or different projects or whatever um, hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button, and hit the notification button, and you'll get notified as we put up new things. So I hope you, this helped some of you, and I hope you all enjoy your sewing, and go have a good day. Bye-bye.